Time now to go inside TMZ for all the latest from Hollywood. And with us, as always, is Dax Holt. Good morning, Dax. Good morning. Hey, so there's a network bidding war going on, not only for an interview with Casey Anthony, but also her parents. What did you guys find out? Yeah, I, this has gone absolutely insane. The amount of money that uh, networks are willing to spend for these, in, well, technically not the interviews themselves. They'd be paying for photos and videos, uh, but the interviews come along with that because, uh, you know, I guess most people don't want to say they're paying for interviews. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's hit the $1.5 million mark. Uh, you know, there were talks about it being $250,000, but apparently that was just not enough. Uh, and so it has gone through the roof. Uh, uh, however, right in the middle of all these negotiations, ABC comes out and says we were no, we will no longer be paying for any photos or videos that are associated with interviews. Uh, they feel that they are a big enough entity that they do not need to pay for stuff. So I would assume that ABC is now out of uh, this uh, this bidding war with uh, the other networks, and uh, I believe that NBC was in the lead at the the end because they were the ones paying for Biza's hotel room where he was uh, there for the bidding. So. Um, uh, it's crazy, crazy, crazy. That is a lot of money, but uh, let's switch gears again. So a few days ago, we found out Kristen Cavallari and her fiance Jay Cutler, they split up, but now some pictures from a recent photo shoot and wedding dresses she did are surfacing. I'm not a huge fan of her, but it's a, it's a little bit sad. Tell us about the pictures. Yeah, I mean, this is just terrible timing, but the fact is uh, she did a whole photo shoot. It was spread about getting ready for the marriage, and she's being shot in all these different wedding dresses on the balcony, you know, looking very smiley and happy. And then uh, four days after the shoot, uh, her and Jay break up and call off the engagement. And, you know, there's a, there's a lot of things to think about. Well, you know, why would... If he was breaking up with her and he knew he was going to break up, why would he let her do a photo shoot? Or was this was she the one that called this all whole thing off? And why would she do a photo shoot in wedding dresses before you know she decided to walk away? So we don't really know who decided to call off this engagement, but nevertheless, it was just really bad timing for these photos. Absolutely, I wonder if they'll be printed. But uh, finally, Maria Shriver and Arnold Schwarzenegger's son was hurt last week in a boogie boarding accident, but he's out of the hospital now, right? Yeah, he got out yesterday, and I mean, this was a pretty nasty little accident on his boogie board. I guess a big wave came and just crushed him, uh, broke some bones, uh, gave him a collapsed lung. Well, uh, over the last week, he's been in the hospital. He was in the ICU for a while. Maria was tweeting about it, and then she also tweeted his release yesterday saying, you know, thanks to everyone and all their help at the hospital. He is free to go home, and, you know, we're so thankful. Yeah, glad to see he's doing well there for sure. They have enough on their plate. Dax, as always, thanks so much. You can catch TMZ TV right here on Fox Providence at 7 p.m. And for more information on any of these stories you heard, just head to foxprovidence.com.